Vanderbilt University is at the forefront of research and development that may help soldiers stay injury free. They have partnered with a Nashville based company to create an exoskeleton to help prevent injuries. It was put to the test and it passed. Biomechanics. Meet Carl Zellick. I direct a lab at Vanderbilt that's focused on biomechanics and wearable assistive technologies. His team accepted a mission from the military. This all came about as a new Army innovation program that tries to match up soldiers with technical and scientific experts so that they can work together to rapidly innovate and try to develop solutions for a soldier identified problems. <laughs> After spending time at Fort Campbell, the group discovered a major issue. Over the course of the day, lifting like 63 pound rounds, get worn out. That repetitive action results in injury. Across the entire U.S. Army, there are over 460 back overuse injuries diagnosed every single day. And these back injuries result in over a million lost or limited work days each year. Zelik partnered with Nashville-based company HeroWare, developing an exoskeleton suit to help keep the 101st Airborne soldiers healthy. When you bend down, instead of all of the strain going through your low back, some of the strain is redirected to go through the exosuit. And essentially, all we're doing is by putting another set of muscles in parallel with your back muscles. The suit put to the test during this 14 hour long field exercise. It really helped out a lot, especially with like getting the rounds out of the back of the truck. Providing a useful service to those who stand ready to serve daily. I'm excited when we develop something that can actually help somebody be in less pain, have more energy at the end of the day, enjoy things after work and just stay healthy both on the job and afterwards. Well, dozens of pre-production units will be delivered to the Army later this year with the goal to ramp up to hundreds of units next year.